Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give our praises, our glory, our honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem and Kakodash. That belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 9. It says, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrow shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. <clears throat> now this scripture is talking about the destruction of what's known in the scriptures as Babylon or the daughter of Babylon or Babylon the Great, which would be the modern day U.S., these great nations that are assembled from the North Country would be Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, and their allies. And they are definitely setting themselves in array or armament or the militaries against the Western world and the U.S. And the prophecy says that when they do get together, then this place will be taken and destroyed. Now the arrows are talking about the nuclear missiles, uh, whether they're ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missiles, or hypersonic ballistic missiles, which is being uh, currently developed and upgraded pretty much month to month, year to year. All right. These arrows that is prophesying here in the scriptures are talking about the modern day missiles. It says the arrow shall be as of a mighty expert man, meaning these scientists and these weapon developers and these different companies create these military weapons for war. It says none shall return in vain. So that means they're going to be used. They're not for show. They're not for play play. The nations will destroy Babylon the Great. All right. And this is prophesied in the scriptures. So I have here a few articles, um, starting with this one here from the Times of India. It says, China's hypersonic missiles could take down U.S. Air Force's new B-21 Raider. And this is a study, right, from November 27, 2023. Okay. So it says, just two weeks after the U.S. Air Force's super-secret B-21 Raider stealth bomber quietly made its first flight in California, Chinese researchers have said the aircraft can be taken down by PLA's hypersonic missiles. Now, the PLA stands for the People's Liberation Army of China. So they have hypersonic missiles that can destroy the U.S.'s new stealth bombers. This is prophesied in the scriptures. The Chinese research team staged a virtual duel between the two rivals to see what it would take to win a future air battle, according to a report by South China Morning Post. The results suggested that with a combination of advanced hardware and new tactics, China could detect the opponents first. In one simulated war game, a B-21 like stealth platform and its companion drone were both shot down by China's air-to-air -air hypersonic missiles, which can reach a top speed of Mach 6. Let's see here. Now it says the next-gen nuclear stealth bomber reportedly has a radar signature as small as a mosquito. In a conflict, it could get deep behind enemy lines and dump a large number of missiles or bombs on China's coast. And this is, and, you know, we, you know, when we teach and go over the scriptures and prophesy, we speak a lot about how the nations are going to uh, uh, destroy Babylon the Great, which that is, you know, you know which that is true. But Babylon the Great has its technology and its missiles as well. 
okay? It's not going to go down in a in a uh, uh, in a uh, second. You know, there will be conventional war. Although the, the scriptures do prophesy that it, uh, this place will be destroyed in about an hour, uh, but they have technology as well. It says in a conflict, it could deep, it can, it could get deep behind enemy lines, and dump a large number of missiles or bombs on China's coast, crippling the People's Liberation Army's core defense infrastructure," said the report by uh, SCMP. The new bomber would take up its role in the nuclear deterrence triad in the 2030s, just as China builds up its nuclear arsenal. So we're in the time of these nations building their uh, their tech. Okay? So let me get another scripture. Joel, third chapter. And I'll get straight to the point. This is Joel chapter 3. And nine, it says, proclaim me this among the Gentiles, prepare war. And that's what these nations are doing. They are preparing war. Wake up the mighty men, which is the military men. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. So now you have these different scientists create these different technologies. You have these different armies uh, start to draft and recruit different soldiers in different ways. Uh, from all over the world. Verse 10, beat your plowshares and the sword. So if you were once a farming country, now take the money from your agricultural department and your government and put that money towards the budget for military. Now make swords. Plowshares are used for farming, plowing, tilling the ground, growing crops, corn, rice, Okay, wheat. The swords are used for killing. All right? And your pruning hooks in the spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. So now you have countries that were once looked at on the global stage that were weak. All right? We, uh, I always speak on China, you know, going from in, in the late... 19th to early 20th century, you know, going from, you know, basically a, a country of uh, farmers and agriculturalists to building up a strong military. You know, communism was introduced. So now these countries that were once looked at as being, uh, you know, so called peacekeeping type of nations, now they're being bold. And strong with a great military. So now they're saying they're strong. Okay? And it goes into the judgment of the Lord in the Middle East, which is happening today, 2023. Okay? In this time period, which is uh, soon to take place. All right? But this gathering is happening now. And uh, eventually they're all going to go into the Valley of Jehoshaphat in that Saudi Arabian desert region. But it's starting now. And that's where Yahweh Bashman al Shah will judge these nations. Um, So this article, you know, it goes into how the Chinese can uh, use these new hypersonic missiles to detect these stealth aircraft uh, vehicles that the U.S. and other countries have. And this is going to be a war, man, a major war. The war of Armageddon is going to take place soon. Okay. So I want to go into this next article here. This is BreakingDefense.com, and this is from Jerusalem. It says, Israel's Ministry of Defense. Yeah, okay, it says, 
Israel finalizes Aero 3 deal with Germany aims for late 2025 delivery. And the Lord, you know, they give these dates because they're men. But Yahweh Bashi and Shai, you know, really he's doing all this um, for his purpose. All right? Pursuing the Revelation, the 17th chapter, his will. Okay? But uh, things could, you know, a Lord willing, come a lot quicker. So you have a lot of talk of these arrows, which are nuclear missiles, being developed. And for you Israelites that say that there are no missiles in the Bible, there is no, you know, destruction coming, right? That the uh, the... The arrows in the in the scriptures and the prophecies. We're not talking about missiles. Where they literally, the Lord made it obvious for the stupid and dumb out there. All right, they are obviously naming their missiles arrows, just in case you get ignorant. Okay, <laughs> see, certain things are a mystery when you read the scriptures, and certain things are open for all to see and understand. All right, especially when you look out into the world and see what's going on. So it says, now Israel's Ministry of Defense has finalized an agreement to sell the Aero 3 air defense system to Germany and it's sticking to a scheduled 2025 delivery. And it could be that by the time they get these missiles, hey amen, that land will be destroyed anyway and given back to the true uh, people. You know, and they can never get that uh, system by late 2025 because, Lord willing, you know, we're out of here, but we'll see. OK, it says uh, the finalization announced November 23rd follows the U.S. approval of the estimated three point six billion dollar deal in August and a signing ceremony in September. The milestone marked by the final signing conducted by German and Israeli officials concludes the acquisition process that commenced with Defense Minister Yoav Gallant's visit to Germany in September 2023, the Israeli Ministry of Defense said. In Israel, Aero, Aero 3 is the highest layer of the nation's multi-tiered air defense array, above the Iron Dome and David Sling systems, and is designed to confront exo-atmospheric threats such as ballistic missiles. Aero and David Sling were jointly developed with the U.S. Missile Defense Agency and Israel's Missile Defense Organization. See, Missile Defense Agency. But what are the missile defense agencies creating? Arrows. Okay? Arrows. So let's go into more scriptures dealing with these arrows. And then I'm going to end it. Right, I pulled out Jeremiah 50, and there's a lot of scriptures on arrows, but I want to get uh, here we go, Jeremiah 51 and 11. It says, Make bright the arrows, gather the shields, which is what the missiles, you know, the shields are the defense systems. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. The Medes are the Russians. For his devices against Babylon, which is the U.S., to destroy it. Because the Russians definitely have an innumerable amount <laughs> of uh, arrows or missiles to destroy this place. Because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. The standard is his truth. And you have the prophets, starting with the men of Great Millstone, the apostles, the elders, bishops, and the rest of the brothers in the camps, using the scriptures as a standard to prophesy in, in the different cities, states, <clears throat> around uh, this system and around the world as well. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. The watchmen are the Israelites, the different camps. But first and foremost, and really especially, <clears throat> GMS. Because other camps prophesy too, but, you know, they go into certain breakdowns. But uh, the avant-garde, the top group is GMS. 
prepare the ambushes for the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, has both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. So, so this place is prophesied, determined, and predestined to be destroyed. And the Lord is going to use the arrows from the different countries of the north, starting with Russia, China, North Korea, and even America's allies are going to shoot missiles upon this place and destroy it. And the watch, you know, this is why we watch these articles, watch these videos, these news reports. And we do these videos because we're the watchmen. <clears throat> okay? So the Lord is getting ready to uh, take this place out. But, uh, you know, with that, all uh, praise to go to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Kakudash. Till the next time I say Shalom.